Hello audience, welcome to the summer vacation edition of Q&A. Now surely, some of you are going back to school because you're under the age of 18 and are just working very hard to make sure your parents don't throw you out for getting your 33rd consecutive F. And now, welcome to Q&A number, I have lost track of whatever this is. Wait, what are you guys doing? Wait, what on earth? Oh my, oh dear. Oh dear, what are you doing? No, I wish to rule you! Hello everybody and welcome to the Q&A number 17. It's, it's raining. raining out here! Woo! It's raining men! Hallelujah, it's raining men! And questions? Yes, we have plenty of questions from plenty of people, and it is awesome. Okay, so, let's go to the first question, shall we? <laughs> first question from Will Metcalf. What are your thoughts on Suicide Squad? I haven't seen <laughs> it. So I, uh, you might as well walk away. It God damn it. <laughs> Bro, wait for Tio to get out of here. In, in my opinion, it was better than Civil War because it had a lot more development in the characters. But Civil War, you kind of knew all of them already, and it was just choosing sides. I still loved it, but I loved the I loved how they introduced all the DC characters into the uh, cinematic universe. Honestly, I loved Suicide Squad because of how awesome it was. I loved the style of filming that they were going for. I loved the gritty but colorful look they had. It was just so awesome. And finally, we have Harley Quinn and Katana on the big screen. I've been waiting for so long, and oh my god, they did them justice. Holy shit. Suicide Squad. I saw it three times. Because I loved it. I agree with what Willow said, and what Brower said, what Adam might say, but yes, it was a good movie. I recommend it to everyone. Uh, Suicide Squad for me, it was fantastic. Uh, the whole battle between the Jared Leto Joker and the Heath Ledger Joker needs to stop because they are two different kinds of Jokers. Yeah. Like, Heath Ledger's Joker was like the crazy maniac. <laughs> And Jared Leto's Joker was the gangster type. So ah, it took ah, ah, <laughs> it sounds ah. like the penguin. But the thing is, is like I give Jared Leto ten out of ten for being Joker. Margot Robbie did a good job playing Harley Quinn. Oh my god, yeah. We get it. Yeah, we're bad guys. It's what we do. Yeah. Okay, so, so next one was, was, was awesome. My favorite Joker is still Mark Hamill, but I love Jared Leto. Jared Leto is my, my probably one of my favorite live actors. Next question. Next question. From Knife Stalker Reese Mayonnaise. Uh -uh. We have five questions. Oh god. Alright. Question one from Knife Stalker. Have you seen the Sharknado movies? Yes, all three. I still have yet to see the fourth one when it comes Sharknado. out. I haven't seen any of them. I, I need, need every you. single one of them. Yeah. I need to see the fourth. Um the first one I don't like. The second one is enjoyable. The third one we might I'm iffy with. But it has Chris Jericho, and he's a stupid idiot! I only like the second one. I have not seen the third or fourth. I hated all of them. I refuse right. to see all of them. The Good next one. question from my stalker. What is your favorite Marvel movie and DC movie? Favorite Marvel movie for me would have to be... Um, would have to be the first Thor movie. Marvel's Thor, like, because that's just my favorite one. And Thor is probably my favorite... Marvel Cinematic Hero as of right now. I'm not. I'm just. Not, I'm not including Deadpool in this because he's technically not Marvel. Marvel. He's Fox. So yeah. But um, favorite DC movie, I would have to say is would have to be Son of the Batman, the uh, one of the animated films. It's one with uh, pretty much how Batman Bruce Wayne meets his son Damian Wayne. So yeah, that's cool. Favorite Marvel movie is probably Captain America the Winter Soldier. Because it's 
It's Mortal Kombat with Captain America, basically. Um, my favorite DC movie is Still the Dark Knight, because I just love how insane the Joker is, and Batman's voice, I like Ben Affleck's Batman better, because he, he doesn't sound constipated, <laughs> but I like the Dark Knight. I'm here, Mr. Jones! Yes! Martha! 200% Martha! So, favorite Marvel movie, Captain America Civil War. <laughs> so much. So much emotion. So much sexuality. Um, favorite DC is going to be The uh, the Dark Knight. It is the movie that pretty much made me a DC fan in general. It's, it is what made me the fan I am today. Thor 2, and I'm going to have to go with Brower as well. Rachel. Uh, favorite Marvel movie was the um, Avengers. I like the Avengers, mm. the first one. And my favorite DC movie, Man of Steel. Go figure. Yeah. All right. All right. Hang, hang on. All right. Next question is from Knife Soccer. Who would win the fight? Wolverine or Wonder Woman? Hands down, I have to go Wonder Woman. Wolverine, even though he may have an adamantium skeleton, Eat and he me. may have regenerative powers, he ain't got shit on Diana, okay? She would destroy him. Not to mention, she would just lasso him up, and he would just like, nah. Nah. He, she would nah. win. She would win. Wonder yeah. Woman, because uh, she is the... Daughter of Zeus. Wonder Woman. Same reasons. I'm sorry. It's for you guys. Wolverine. Why? First of all, he can cut through the goddamn rope. We don't know this. Yeah, actually we don't. Okay, well there's a good possibility he can. Let alone that as hard as his skin is and everything like that, or his antimantian bones. bones. If he slices Diana, she will get cut. She is made a fucking play. Mm. She will get cut. But and like, she will die. She will and die. She will die. Um, she will die. I'm gonna say Wonder Woman. Her rope is like indestructible, and her yeah. shield is also indestructible too. So if Wolverine goes up to her shield and tries to slice the shield. It's not gonna break. It's not. Ca it's like almost as similar as Captain America's shield, but I think Wonder Woman's shield is a lot more stronger. Much stronger. Oh, right. Well, we'll have to wait till the fight happens. All right. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. So screw Death Attack, please. So screw Attack, please, please do that fight. Yeah, I'd like to see that actually. All right. Next question from Knife Stalker. <clears throat> this question is for Alan. Ooh. What was it like getting killed off as Ness in Chapter Two? God damn it. It happens. The yeah, feels. Sorry. The feels. I filmed theirs in the morning. <laughs> over I, okay. I literally added that scene in because he had to move back. <laughs> yeah, there's that too. Um, in all honesty, it was depressing that that had to happen. But, and also, actually, I don't know if I should spoil anything, but... It's okay, the whole thing's out. You can. Okay, I'm coming back to murder every single person that ever has sinned me. That's God funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, but in all seriousness, it was very depressing. Okay. And then Wario got killed. Yay! I get to murder him. So now your brother too. Lucas has no one to get revenge on. God damn it! <laughs> His Darkling got killed by Link. Well, sort of. God damn it, Lucas. <laughs> Alright, ready? Next question from Knife Stalker. Do you guys still plan to make Metal Gear Solid 3, Adam? No. I said Adam, not you! Anyway, Metal Gear Solid 3 was in the talks at one point before, after like we were saying, I'm saying I'm going down to Florida, but due to the fact being that we don't have enough cast members and literally didn't really much have what we needed for the mid film, so no, there will not be a Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm sorry for the letdown. So, because Xander Brown Productions, the script was not even, the script was like somewhat getting written, but the screenplay was not much getting written. So, yeah, so Metal Gear Solid 3 is out of the window. 
All right, that is your answer. <coughs> I, would, I would do it, but considering the fact Jersey and Florida, over a Smash Bros, it took us how long to get it done? Exactly. Next question. Exactly. Okay, so that's all for Knife Soccer. Now we have questions from Stupid Smash Bros 1. Two questions. Question one, are you guys planning on doing live streams? Yes, definitely in the future. Not sure on what yet, but we have considered, after we do all these crazy Q&As, we have actually considered, instead of doing Q&As, doing live stream podcasts and things like that. Yeah, and in case you miss the podcast, we can always just put it on YouTube for you to yeah. see it. Yeah. And if we want to do that, I also have a Twitch, just in case. Twitch is more meant for gaming, though. But still, we have several things that we could use for live streaming and whatnot. So yeah, we, we have been in the talks about it. It's a possibility. We just don't know when if we do it. We just don't know when. We kind of just need the technology. Anyways, you next question. You can also use Facebook, too. We sure. have the technology. Next question from <laughs> Super Smash Bros. 1. What are your plans for your channel now that Smash Brotherhood is done? Brower. Brower, that's all How many times have we answered this question? Well, We've answered this question so many times. I am writing a script. If you want, subscribe to my Patreon for a little hint on the script. It is going to be available for YouTube in the winter. I'm going to release like a little teaser for it. It's like a sort of detective kind of thing with like supernatural stuff. Not the show, supernatural powers. But um, Yes, I am writing for new stuff in the winter, and I have the cast and crew set up. I'm getting help on the script, yes. so my channel won't be dead. Don't worry. Uh, my stay channel. Tuned. My channel, of course, is the Weech Chronicles next year, and um, I have another project that I'm working on that's supposed to come out like before the Weech Chronicles, and you can find out about that on my Patreon if you subscribe to it. And yeah, other than that, just little videos here and there and whatnot. Nothing big and nothing crazy. Maybe a few Let's Plays, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, just stay tuned. Big projects coming next year. I am currently in the process of an untitled horror series being written by me and my high school best friend. I'm aiming to have it released sometime in October, but no promises on that. And please, for the love of all that is video is on this site we call YouTube. We have had this question for the last three months. Yeah, honestly. Please stop asking this question at this point. If you if you want to ask this question again, ask refer, it privately. Refer to refer to the past Q and A's. You will get the same answer every time. Now, Alan and Adam. Well, Rihanna is coming out. The new one, the better version, not the really really pathetic looking version. You're making me mad. No. I'm going to elbow you in the face. No. Making me mad. No. Yes, we are. We are going to complete Rehonored. We rewrote the entire script for Alan, and it's looking a lot better. We have more time on our hands now. Adam. Uh, future plans for my channel. Um, there's no future plans yet. Um, that's one thing I'll do as an uh, update for my channel. But uh, so far, it's just going to be let's plays. Um, I haven't got a chance to do any guitar reviews or anything else, so, yeah. Now the next five questions are from Jeremy Cadle. Whoa! <laughs> Question one. Will you make Mario sketches now that Brotherhood is done? I, I actually would say let's get it done. Yeah. Like one little short skit. Alright. No, we do it tonight. Alright, and night is done. Yeah. Alright. Alright, next question. How do you feel about the YouTube Red stuff? Personally, I don't care about it. I'm just whatever. Me, I don't use YouTube Red. I just use regular YouTube. I use Adblock to get rid of advertisements and, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah. I'm relatively the same. Me, I just don't like YouTube Red because it's money. Know. And I want to yeah. spend money. I mean, it goes to some good people. It yeah. does. Like, that money does go to the good people, but it kind of doesn't do anything for you anything for us smaller YouTubers. That's yeah. my big gripe to it. Yeah. So, alright. Next I question. Yeah. I, I can really care less for it. I don't want to pay for it. Yeah. I'm not giving Google my money. <laughs> Next question. If you could have a YouTube Red deal, what kind of show would you make? Well, if I could have a YouTube Red deal, I would see if I could, um, if I could make, I don't know, 
Baker's Luigi Chronicle. No, you know, I was, I might, if, if they would give me a good deal on it, I might consider it, but probably not, because I want Luigi Chronicles to just be available to everyone, not just people on YouTube Red, you know? You know, only on Patreon subscribers and hey. people who are over 18. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, everyone. Hey, but hey. I, if I were on YouTube Red, I would really like to do a Darth Maul show or a Skyrim show. Live action. I think they already did that. Yeah. yeah. I. Do you guys remember Black Box TV? Yes. Yeah. I'd actually would like to do some stuff like that. All right. Well, next question. Unless I think we, we want to uh, have them answer. Yeah. Uh, do we? Do well, re Honored would obviously be there. Then we would have Metal Gear Solid Three and a story. No. No, <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid, though, if I was going to do YouTube, right, it, it, I don't even know what plans I would have for it, so. If I was going to do a, a YouTube, right, I'm thinking of possibly doing a, kind of like a war thing. Rihanna? No. A shorter version, how to choreograph for fight scenes and all that kind of stuff. How to is pretty much. How to, yeah. Okay. That'd be cool. Alright, next question. What's the worst movie of all time? Your face. Worst movie of all time. That's actually a movie, that's the worst part about it. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, I love that movie. Mine is. Are you kidding me? I found it hilarious. Oh, okay. Okay, you. what's your answer? Well, I'll send you. I don't, I really don't know. I, I'm. I know a number of terrible movies, such as <laughs> T.O., Calm Down, You Were Psychotic. I know exactly what my answer is! Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Well, not including Rehonored, oh. or the Young Meyer Brothers movie. There's, of course, The Last Ander Airbender by Emmett Lamashlong. Then there's, of course, Mono's Hands of Fate, Plan 9 from Outer Space, um... Tim Burton's Tim Burton's Plan of the Apes movie. That was a make. That was a mistake. Um, there's the third Jurassic Park film. Didn't they ask for like just one? Yeah, I can't really list one. I don't have a. Moving on to Brower then, because you're going too long. Fifty Shades of Grey. The Garbage Pail Kids movie. The only movie where I cannot find one redeemable factor. Well, I'm gonna have to go with, you know, I was gonna go with one that's already said, uh, The Last Airbender. Batman and fucking Robin. That movie was terrible. What Ooh. really wiped out that dinosaur? The Ice Age! Final question from Jeremy Cato. What is the craziest movie you've ever seen? Um, honestly, I don't know. I got one. Deadpool. Scary Movie 5. Oh, that movie was terrible. Epic Movie. <laughs> Deadpool. Superhero Movie. Oh. Alright. Thank you, Jeremy. So, next question. From Michael Bemis. Have you seen Stranger Things? And if so, what do you think? <laughs> Stranger Things! Holy shit! Oh my god, that show is freaking amazing! Guys, ah! calm down! Why do you think I was thrown into a pool? I will mm -hmm. give it 11 out of 10. I will give it a 9 out of 11. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a 0 out of 11 because I haven't seen it. Wow! wow. I haven't Ooh. seen it either. You wow. two are an exception. You're okay. Yeah. But yeah, no, honestly... I want a I, season 2. Wait to interrupt me, asshole! No, but honestly, I love that show. It is phenomenal. I love the whole 80s vibe that they have, and it actually works really well with the whole show, considering it's in the 80s. Like, I feel like I'm watching a good 80s horror thriller film, but it's, you know, of course made today, and it has freaking Win Winona Ryder. How can you go wrong with that? It's oh, amazing. God, I love her. And the kids that play those characters are phenomenal. They They're do such a fantastic job at what they do. They're also really musically talented, too. Oh, yeah. They're really great kids. They're awesome. So, in short, we love it. We love it. Next question. Next question. And 
final question. Unless, Tio, did you get any more questions? Oh, yeah, on yours? Kira. Let me check. No, yeah, Kiara. Kiara. So here it is. Okay, yeah. Not the final question, but this is the next question. Next question is from Kiara Chapman. Tio's Hi, friend. Kiki. What's your what's the best part of filming? Also, what motivates you? Well, for me, the best part of filming is Brower. I'm reading the freaking script. That's the worst part of filming. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the best part of filming is um, just being able to like do awesome films and stuff with awesome friends and people. And yeah, you know, not including these guys because they suck. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> but um, yeah. Check your privileges. Wow, okay, tell Go me lick shit. a use flashlight. Ew! No, but like, what's it called? Yeah, best part of filming is filming with friends, doing awesome things like that. It's just so much fun. And seeing the final product you made, it's just, it's awesome. And what motivates me is just being able, it's just the idea that I could be part of a huge YouTube channel someday, like a channel that has hit such a high level of stardom amongst the YouTube community that we have other channels talking about us on like a like monthly basis or something like oh hey this YouTube channel is making a super awesome cool show you should go check it out subscribe things like that my favorite part is seeing a, a script put to film and having people react to our videos Ooh. see what they think and stuff I love watching reactions of my videos for me the best part of filming is being able to get behind the camera whether I'm the one controlling the camera and having the actors do something or it's me acting just being able to express the vision that I want to see with it and going through with it mm. pretty much my motivation is because I just really want to be the best. It's all I've ever wanted to be. And no one ever was. This Cat is my real quest. The training them is my cause. Hell yeah. I just like hurting people. It's true, he does. He broke Brower's neck. <laughs> um, and gave Ryan a bloody nose. <laughs> yeah, that is true, I did. You gave him a big bloody nose. I've heard Sean, I've heard Brower, I've heard Adam, I think at one point, I've heard Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was your chance for a floor case. Yeah, Ready? Wow, I heard a lot of people. Adam. Okay. Hold on, Adam. it's time for the second part. What motivates me? Um, what, motiv what motivates me, I guess, would be the fact that I've never actually been in a film before. <laughs> and... I kind of want to put myself out there and show what I can do. Adam? Uh, the best part of filming is the girls. The walls. The walls. The, the best part of filming for me is that, you know, being in front of the camera, behind the camera, and in being camera. with, and being with the greatest Fucking cast of all time, right? With now. the balls, Florida and New Jersey cast. It doesn't matter. I've had fun on set. You know, being part of this production crew is awesome. And what motivates me? Just gathering ideas. You know, from other movies and like you know, and it's like you know, take screenplays and write them on your own basic terms. So. Yeah, I had a lot of motivation of filming. But I what? think Tio is the best actor of all time. Okay, the last <laughs> two questions. First question is from Tyler Dye. Richard, when are you getting your movie? Well, you see, Muffy, John Bonenson asked this question, which, thank you, I will make sure to pay you in beer later on. Now, you see, Dick Rod's movie is in production right now. Me and Dick have talked, and we have agreed that once his movie finishes, we will begin mine. Wonderful. Now, of course, the final question of Q&A number I don't even know anymore is from Tyler Dye. Ready? Dicks out for Harambe? No. Dicks out for Harambe. Dicks out, Dicks for, out for Harambe. Harambe. Make sure to subscribe to Lack It's Tio, Alan, and Adam. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and Patreon. And all of that wonderful stuff. Yeah. 
Thank you for watching and from me subscribe and from me and Adam. We just want to say if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Suck it. Our Jersey sucks. <laughs> Jersey has been vanquished. Wow!